Hi there, Brian here from Actuarial, and in today's video, I'm answering the question, should I major in actuarial science? And you might be wondering, why does this question matter? Well, majoring in actuarial science might not be the right choice for you, even if you want to be an actuary. And we're going to talk about why that might be the case. I'm going to go through the pros and the cons of majoring in actuarial science and what different degrees or majors you might consider instead. And also if you are here because you are considering a master's in actuarial science, then we're also going to talk a little bit about that too. So first off, the actuarial science field has been getting more and more popular because the actuarial career itself has become more and more popular. It's it's just over the past several years, it's become more and more well known. And because of that, more people want to get into this amazing career. So they often major in actuarial science. And actually, I majored in actuarial science myself at the University of Waterloo. I will link to a video all about my experience. And actually, it wasn't such a great experience overall. I would say it was it was an awesome experience, but it was very, very difficult. So you'll learn all about that in the video that I did a while ago. I'll link to that right down below in the comments so you can go and watch that um, or in the description, actually. But it was tough. Majoring in actuarial science is going to be tough and that's something we'll talk about. But I just want to let you know that video is out there and available for you. Also, let me know in the comments what school you are considering going to for actuarial science. It's really awesome to hear from other people that are around me and maybe considering University of Waterloo themselves. But I also love hearing about all the other schools in the US and Canada that are offering a similar program. And it's just great to know where you guys are considering going. So let me know that down below in the comments. Um, and then also, yeah, go check out that other video that I talked about. So, you know, my experience at the University of Waterloo and majoring in actuarial science, that will definitely give you some insight into this major. I'm going to go through some of the reasons you may want to consider not majoring in actuarial science. Um, one of those reasons and the biggest reason I would say not to major in actuarial science is because it's very, very specialized. So you can basically get a job with any bachelor's degree. It doesn't have to be in actuarial science. So when you specialize in actuarial science and get that actuarial science major, it's really pigeonholing yourself into a very specific line of work. Outside of the actuarial field, very few people know what actuarial science is. So it can be difficult for employers to really understand the expertise that you have and the knowledge and skill set that you have when you major in actuarial science. So because of that, that's why I don't really recommend majoring in actuarial science. There are lots of reasons that people decide they don't want to become an actuary. They might decide it's just way too time consuming or more time consuming than they thought it was going to be. So if you spend a whole bunch of time going through school, getting your actuarial science degree, and then end up figuring out that it's just way too much time and money commitment for the actuarial exams, then you might just decide to not pursue the actuarial career anymore. And then you're kind of stuck with an actuarial science degree and no one that really knows what that is. So it may be more difficult to get a job. There are other reasons that people decide not to become actuaries. One is an, another one is because they can't get a job. So some people do major in actuarial science and still can't find a job. Other people find the exams just way more difficult than they thought they were going to be and can't pass them. So there are various different reasons that people sometimes get an actuarial science degree, but then end up not becoming actuaries. And when you get in that situation, it can be difficult to find other careers to pursue since your degree is so specialized. Okay, so that's one major, major con of um, majoring in actuarial science. Okay, some other things you do want to consider is that it's very difficult. I already talked about this a little bit prior, but majoring in actuarial science is extremely difficult. And actually just a couple weeks ago, I released a video showing you my actuarial transcript. And if you go watch that video, you will see how difficult it really was. I had a low GPA and I talk about why that happened. Uh, so go check that video out as well. I will link to it below in the description. 
But yeah, majoring in actuarial science is really difficult. So you have to be up for a challenge. It is not going to be easy. It's going to be something you have to commit a lot of time to. And you're going to get frustrated at points. It's going to be, get difficult, but you have to keep pushing forward and moving through it. There's also a lot of math. I love math going into my actuarial science degree, but by the end, I did not want to see another math question for months. <laughs> um, obviously that wasn't really possible because once you get into actuarial work, what, after you've majored, you get into actuarial work and you're doing math all the time and you get into the actuarial exams where you're doing math all the time. So you just have to be prepared for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of math. Lastly, getting an actuarial science degree does not guarantee a job. There are other things you have to do and that degree alone is not going to get you a job. So that's another thing to consider when you are um, trying to figure out the pros and the cons of the actuarial science degree. So now that was the cons. Let's talk a little bit about the pros. So when you major in actuarial science, you are going to learn almost all the math that you need to know for the first seven actuarial exams. You'll know all the computer programming that you need to know, all that kind of stuff. So the courses that you're going to take in order to get your actuarial science degree, they really will help prepare you for actuarial exams and for your future as an actuary. However, you still have to pass all the exams and there are lots of resources available online for studying for actuarial exams and learning all the math and there are lots of programs out there to help you learn the technical skills you need. So although it's great to have all this built into your actuarial science program, it's possible to learn all of this outside of an AXI program. So uh, really this isn't a huge re reason, I don't consider it a huge reason to go into an actuarial science major. The second reason that you might consider another pro of an actuarial science degree is that some schools have a program where they will help you get an internship or a co-op opportunity through the school. And this can be really helpful because sometimes it's hard to get those opportunities on your own, although it is very possible. I've helped lots of people do that, but it can be a little more difficult. So there are some programs where they'll help you as an actuarial science major to get internships and co-op opportunities that will give you experience in the actuarial field. And once you get that related experience, it's going to be so, so, so helpful in getting a job later. Um, one, because you'll have a lot of relevant experience and actuarial experience that you can use in many different other actuarial positions. And two, because sometimes the company that you do a co-op or an internship position with, they will hire you full time after you graduate. So it can be a really good way to get your foot in the door. So this is also another big pro for majoring in actuarial science. However, these programs do tend to be fairly competitive. Um, there are usually a lot more actuarial science majors than there are internship positions available. So again, there's just going to be a lot of competition. At the University of Waterloo, there was an actuarial science program and they also helped you get internships. And I was a part of that. I ended up getting internships, but there was just so many other people competing for those. It was not easy to get. Those are the two major pros of majoring in actuarial science. So one is that you get to learn all the math and the computer programming that you'll need as an actuary. And two is that you'll get, you might get support in finding an internship or co-op opportunity. Those are something that, or that's something in particular that you'd have to look into for the particular school that you are considering going to get your major in actuarial science, because not all schools offer that support. But like I said, both of those things can be done outside of a school program. You can learn all the math, all the technical skills outside of a school program. You can um, get your own internship. So these are definitely helpful things to uh, take advantage of when you're going through an actuarial science major degree, but they are things you can also do by yourself instead. <music> Now, I'm talking here a lot about not majoring in actuarial science. However, it is absolutely necessary that you get a bachelor's degree of some sort if you want to become an actuary. So let me tell you a little bit about some of the majors that I do recommend if you don't go for an actuarial science degree. 
Okay, and actually I wrote a blog post about this a little while ago. I will link to that down below in the comments so you can go check it out. It goes into much more detail about these different majors than I'm going to go into uh, in this video. So one of those is math. You can major in math because actuaries are using math all the time. So that's a really good major to go into and it will open up a lot of opportunities beyond just actuarial work for you. And plus you can still get an actuarial job with a math degree. Um, another option is stats. Again, it will open up lots of opportunities for other careers if you decide not to go into the actuarial field, but you can still get an actuarial job with a stats degree if you want to. Um, other options are finance or economics or maybe computer science. All of these would help you in your actuarial career. They'll open up opportunities in other fields and other careers, but they'll also allow you to get an actuarial job if that's what you end up deciding to do. Okay, so again, go check out that blog post if you want to know more about those different degrees and how they might help you in your actuarial science career or actuarial career. I said I would also talk a little bit about getting a master's degree in actuarial science. This is something that many people consider doing if they've already graduated from school and now they have decided a little later in life that they want to become an actuary. They consider getting a master's in actuarial science. And really, I do not think this is the best use of your time right now. A master's degree is going to probably help you learn the math and get the technical skills that you need for an actuarial position. But like I talked about earlier, you can do those things yourself outside of your outside of school. You can get study resources that are going to help you learn all the math. You can take courses that are going to help you learn the technical skills that you need. So this is not something you need to go to school in order to get. And just having that master's degree on your resume is really not going to significantly in increase your chances of getting an actuarial position. So I personally believe that your time is much better spent focusing just on actuarial exams and gaining relevant experience and getting the technical skills that you need rather than spending your time on doing all the extras that you need to do in order to get a master's degree, such as completing projects, completing assignments, studying for finals and midterms and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to be spending a lot of extra time on things doing a master's degree that you don't really need in order to become an actuary. So that's why I don't recommend getting a master's degree in actuarial science. I don't really think it's worth your time and I don't think it's going to help you significantly increase your chances of getting an actuarial position. All right, so that is all for today's video. Again, let me know down in the comments what school you are considering going to for actuarial science, or maybe I've convinced you not to major in actuarial science and now you've opened the doors to a whole bunch of other schools that you could go to. Let me know down in the comments. And also, if you have any questions about actuarial science or the actuarial career in general, let me know those down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Bye for now.